Why do airplane manufacturers prefer using 1.3 million rivets instead of just welding everything together? You might think, isn't welding stronger? But the truth is actually the opposite. An airplane's fuselage isn't made from one giant piece of metal. It's built from lots of thin aluminum panels. Rivets allow these panels a little bit of give. When a plane hits turbulence, some of that force gets absorbed naturally by this tiny flexibility. Welding, on the other hand, makes the structure too rigid and under long-term, repeated vibrations and stress. It's more likely to develop fatigue cracks at the welds. Over time, the risk is actually higher. Then there's the issue of temperature, a cruising altitude. The plane's body faces harsh temperatures around minus 50 degrees Celsius with repeated cycles of expansion and contraction. While the joints can slowly develop tiny cracks, rivets don't have this problem. Even better, flush rivets make the fuselage surface almost perfectly smooth. The smoother the surface, the less drag from the air, which can reduce resistance by about 3%. Just from that, airlines can save millions of dollars in fuel each year. Riveting also makes inspections and repairs much easier. If a panel gets damaged, removing and replacing rivets is far simpler and more reliable than cutting, grinding, and re-welding a whole sheet of metal. So, if you were the CEO of an airline, which method would you choose?